beautiful hello beautiful people it's a gloomy day in atlanta but it's not raining so that's a good thing it's a great thing it's not raining um people don't watch when they back out i see that now okay so I'm trying to get out of here and then we're going to talk <clears throat> Today's vlog, Miss Day 12, baby. You probably seen me um, drink that hot chocolate last night. I think it's day 12, yeah. Actuality, I think it's... I'm catching up, honey. I'm catching up. Because I think today is actually the 13th. And I'm on number 12. Yes, sir. But I have footage. Um, I have footage enough to be caught up. I just got to edit it. So, I'm gonna add this to my day 12. So you seen the hot cocoa, baby. That hot cocoa was so good. This is my first hot cocoa of the year. And um, I'm on my lunch break, y'all. I'm finna kinda drive and eat, but at the same time, I think if I find a park or somewhere to stop, I'm gonna stop there. Um, I went to Chick-fil-A, of course. Well, not of course. I went to one that's not by my house. The kind of yeah, we just gonna hope that my food is right. I definitely got to catch a picture, so let's do that. This sandwich is definitely hot. I hope it's done right though. I haven't had a chicken sandwich in months or. And normally chicken sandwiches, it's a hit or miss, especially with that spicy. We about to see though. But yeah, we are definitely like we are definitely what word am I looking for? I am definitely cheating on my lifestyle. I am because I normally don't eat this bad. I don't feel like I've been eating that bad. Honestly, when I think about it. My teeth so sensitive. That's who place ain't working. Yeah, his blinker on. I'm glad I didn't go. It would be false claiming with that blinker. They <laughs> had yeah, that blinker on. Don't really mean they're gonna turn. Then boom, you in an accident. Okay, let's put you back up here because that angle is not giving. But I'm not just gonna eat. I am gonna eat. I can see now that I'm not gonna eat this whole sandwich because for one, look at this sandwich. I don't like that big fat side. I'm definitely not gonna eat that because sometimes it don't be done. I'm having lash lash withdrawals. I want to put my lashes on so bad. I feel really naked. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I look sleepy without lashing. The last week of the month, the last week of the year, I will be planning what I'll be doing in the upcoming year. I'll be writing down everything. planning it out I feel like I'm just eating bread I don't got nothing to drink yeah I don't want to cheat too bad um, you know, when is time you cook more, you eat more. But at the same time, I gotta take care of me. I was 
editing in the video, right? It's probably gonna be tomorrow's video. It's gonna be my last November recap. I was editing it, and I noticed that my rash on my face was very bright and dark. I mean, like, stood out. So sometimes you can see it, sometimes you can't, but I have this rash for lupus. And when you can see it more, I'm normally going through some type of flare, even if it's just very small that I don't realize it. I only realize it when I look back at the camera or when I look in the mirror and be like, damn, that's why I was feeling like this. It be done got red, but on my skin color, it don't get red, it just get dark. I was editing a video from November, and yes, I was hecka stressed. I don't know if it's gonna come up in the video, but my, my alternator went out. I've had this car for a couple of years. I don't know how long, maybe three. I really don't even feel like it's three, but it probably has been three. So I've had this car for maybe three years, maybe longer, I don't know, but I definitely know it ain't four. Two years ago, I had my alternator change. Now again, I had to have my alternator change again. Yes, I do Amazon, or I used to do Amazon, which puts so many miles on my car. And then, I also did, um, I'm doing Uber now sometimes. But yeah, one day I was just driving and my car cut off, literally. I was on the phone with my mom. And it's crazy, every time something happened in my car, I'm on the phone with her and she normally just calm me down mostly. First time when the alternator went out, a belt snapped, and I was like, "Oh man, my um, the belt got caught, and I couldn't stir, but I had to whip, make myself go into the parking lot. So that's what happened the first time, cause that the stir went tighten up, and I could not move. <laughs> so then this time, I just I I was close to a parking lot or church, and I ended up getting in there, just barely getting in there. Anyway, so I'm not having a car. Um, it was only for a couple of days because most high really looked out for me. I don't know how I got the money. I don't even know how, but I got it. And I'm gonna come back, y'all. It's not giving angles, but I'm back. And I'm gonna end this very soon. I don't want it to be too long. I just want to finish this. So yeah, um, and then I'm gonna hit on one more topic and then I'm gonna leave you guys and we'll, I'll see y'all tomorrow. But yeah, so we thought it was the battery. Come to find out it was a much bigger expense. Uh -huh. Didn't know where I was gonna get the money. Had other things that were doing very important. Story. I had this earlier, but it ain't nothing about ice now. I had just got a, um, a lemonade when I picked up some orders earlier. Nothing to eat, just a lemonade. Okay, let me finish this story. story short I don't know how it happened but most high came through I got that money up it was six hundred dollars plus I had to pay something else that was four fifty I got that money up within a couple of days like three days and I don't know how the heck I did that it had nothing to do with me it didn't it had nothing to do with me that was my angels and that was most high that was God looking out for me and I appreciate that and that's why I always say I'm grateful I show gratitude even in the worst of times but that was stressful, very stressful, because for a day or two, I was stressing hard. I was trying to rent a car. Girl, what you renting a car for? That money can go to your car. But yeah, I appreciate my car, though. I do. I appreciate this car. I own it. And I know sometimes the baby gets sick. 
so you gotta you gotta repair it you gotta nurse it back to health i do want to put some money in my car before i get a new car because this is gonna be just my work car but i want another car while I, my everyday car <laughs> but <laughs> handle that and um my weight was lifted the weight was lifted after that because that was like the biggest thing well the next week i had so many bills due, and i just really had to figure it out but my thing now is take it one day at a time like you cannot stress about what's going on next week what's going on the week after next nosy god damn you can't stress about what's going on next week the week after next i always tell myself and my friend like we got to focus on today honey I mean, I know you got a plan for the future, but if them plans include stress and overthinking, leave it where it's at and just focus on the day. So that's what I've been doing. And I've really been getting by. So I wake up in the morning. I'm like, today, this is to do. I need to do this for Christmas. I need to do this. I need to handle this. If I can't handle this today, I'm not going to stress. I can do it tomorrow. And that's really what it's been. And um, I've been getting through and I feel no stress, but... I might put a clip of the video. All, you can see it all in my face. Even if it just was bad. Like, I didn't know I was that stressed to the point where it was affecting my health. And um, I'm just grateful. But next year, I want to take my health. Well, I'm saying I take my health serious, but I just want to go extreme with it. And I know sometimes you shouldn't, but I think I need to. I've been living with lupus since 23. I was 22, turned 23 a couple days later after I found out I had it. And now that's like 10, 11 years later. <laughs> Literally. So you think about that. That's since my, my son most of his life. And I just feel like it's my job to get completely healed from it. So that my son won't have to worry about me. All my son's life, he been, his mom has been sick. And we're not going to put that on me. So that's why I'm doing quote unquote sick. And then a couple of other health issues that came from lupus. So I want to just resolve all those issues and um give my son his mom back you know what i'm saying and i want to have another baby um of course i got to find a husband first or a man but or he got to find me but i want to make sure i resolve those issues before i do all that so um yeah that's where we're at and then that's your little mukbangy bang just a little reflection so I want to really sit down and reflect the last week of the month and just figure out what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do different, what I'm going to change, what I'm going to keep the same, what I'm going to do to benefit me and my son, and how I'm going to handle 2023. And that's that. And you ask me how I do everything with living with a chronic illness. And being a single mom and my only means of money comes from my business and of course the little side hustles like Uber Eats. How do I do it all and still make it look good? I don't even know. I don't know. That's the part of the journey of self. That's that part of the journey where you're constantly working on yourself and not saying God is not included. It's just that's the part of the journey of self. And you can't grow without working on self. So I think that's just where it came from. I'm always working on myself. I'm always trying to do better, be better, trying to handle situations better. I'm I'm quick to apologize and and fix the problem that I created or you know. And most of all, gratitude. Gratitude, gratitude. And I want to get back into journaling. I've been struggling with journaling journaling and it's just because of like anxiety or um anxiety or um add i've really been struggling with add um lately when i try to do things that i want to do like journaling it's just baby my mind be everywhere my thoughts be everywhere i can't even write i can't sit there for long enough to write so that's another thing where i want to get get my health my my body cleaned out detox get all that out of there because you could get rid of add you can get rid of all those things. Your body want to heal. 
you just gotta do the work and chick-fil-a ain't gonna get you there so that's why i want to put into my channel next year because you know i'm heavy on the holistic but i'm human so i do go back and forth i do make decisions that are not the best for myself but i just want to get out of that because i found my purpose this year 2022 i actually found my purpose growing up i wanted to become a teacher i always wanted to be a teacher if you ask anybody in my family i do hair of course everybody know me for hair but I always wanted to be a teacher. So if you ask anybody, I was supposed to be a teacher. But now in 22, I can't see myself being a teacher in these schools, in this school system. And what I know now, I couldn't sit there and teach the kids that. I, I even struggle with my son being in the public school, you know. I really want to homeschool him, but I'm gonna let him finish his journey. My journey is not his journey. <clears throat> but, um, so I, I recently discovered that my purpose is still teaching. I can still become a teacher, but I had to get sick to get into holistic and natural things, which I already was in, but I had to get sick. That had to be part of my journey for me to find my purpose. And my purpose is still teaching, but my purpose is to teach my people. Anybody, anybody else who wanna listen, <coughs> that our body is meant to heal. And then we can do all these things or not do all these things and it will make a huge difference and that's just my passion i would do that without getting paid so i know that's my passion i would do that 10 20 times over i would give up here to be able to do that every day and if i had went to the store i don't like to do these talking vlogs because i don't know how much of it you're going to listen to but i think this one is pretty decent because i got something good to say but this is the last thing that i'm gonna hop off here I went to the, um, I think, I, I don't know if I told y'all this, but I just love the moment when somebody asks you something and you can just tell them. I know I get on some people's nerves with like, hey, you can do this and this for this. But um, for the people willing to listen, I have a lot of things to say. I've learned a lot of things. It just come natural. And when I become raw vegan, raw plant-based, it's just gonna come even better to me. Because that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I went to the um, post office one day. The lady asked me what I had in there. I told her it was an oil. She said, I can smell it, I can tell. And then she was like, she was telling me that a customer had left her some oil for some type of arthritis pain. And then I was just telling her different things you could do. And she was so intrigued. And she was like, how did you get into it? Then I told her because I have lupus. And it just made me dig deeper into what they call, what they call it? Um, um, well, it made me dig deeper into natural stuff. Like, the pills was not cutting it for me. It just wasn't working for me. And I listen to my body. I listen to my mind. And you, if your mind tells you something, it's true, typically, unless you have a mental illness that you're struggling with. <coughs> but if your intuition um, tells you something, it's typically true, but we just don't listen to our intuition. So, taking those pills for the first couple of years of my diagnosis, uh, it really pushed me further down the other way. Like, I could have made more progress had I not taken them. But you can't not take them and not know an alternative. That's why I always tell people. You can't just say, I'm not going to take my blood pressure pills. Because she said she wasn't taking her blood pressure pills. You can't just say that and not replace it with something. Because you could kill yourself. So, I was telling her, like, you can take black seed oil or you can do this, celery juice, or this and this. She was like, really? So, she was just so excited. And I love, I love teaching people because I know that's what I'm supposed to be doing. It just come natural like I really cannot wait to the day I can wake up and just teach people like this that that's what I'm supposed to be doing and um, that's what my channel was supposed to be but it turned into some type of vlog but I'm gonna incorporate it because a lot of people follow me for that reason from TikTok <coughs> and I'm gonna get back into it y'all <coughs> and hopefully y'all come on my journey with me and if y'all can't if it's time for us to part ways because I'm giving I'm gonna show more of the natural holistic things and teach you about that then that's understandable but um this is what I'm supposed to be doing so in 22 2022 I actually found my purpose <coughs> because I have been like <coughs> damn that's the heat that air sometimes I think I got asthma <coughs> I have been searching I have been searching like what's my purpose God what's my purpose like and I just realized that it was, over time I realized what it was. And it made me so happy that I finally found my purpose. And I just want to operate.
already in that. And that's, that's how I want to be. That's how I want to live. I want people to know me for that. Honestly. I don't, I don't really want people to know me for hair. I want people to know me for that. Oh, she a healer. Oh, yeah. Go to her. Go to her. She really can get you through this. She can, she can cure, cure this. She can do that. Signing off, guys. Thanks for watching my Vlogmas episode. Hopefully, this one too boring for you, but I felt good about this. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.